Hi, welcome to the Cert 4 in Government Investigation. I hope you really enjoy this course. A couple of things I wanted to run through with you before you get to start the course. The course is broken into 15 units. You will move through the units one at a time. When you lodge a unit for assessing, the next unit will open up for you to continue on with. I suggest downloading the study guide onto your computer so you can go back to it later. Because once a unit is finished, it is locked and you can't get back into it. Units are made up of multiple choice questions, short answer questions and assessments. Look, the multiple choice is pretty self-explanatory. With the short answer questions, if it asks for dot points, just give dot point answers. If the question asks you to discuss your answer, this means you will need to give a short paragraph enough to explain your answer. Look, if you have any questions along the way, you just need to message your assessor. You can do this, but while you are in the question, you go down to the bottom left-hand corner and click on the tab, Message Assessor. The benefit of doing this while you're in the question is that when it comes through to the assessor, the question is attached to your message so the assessor knows which question you're asking about. With the assessments, you will find at the bottom of the page a tab with answer assist on it. Looks like a little keychain. Click on this tab and the templates will be there for you to open up. Each assessment has a scenario with it. The scenario is the basis for you to complete your assessment. There will be legislation that you will need to research and put into the assessment to correlate with what the scenario is about. There is other information that you can just make up along um, the way with the outcomes of your investigation. Have fun with it, but don't make it too hard on yourself. There are a couple of assessments where you will need to create videos. I'm not expecting you go out to go out and purchase a fancy camera. You can just use your mobile phone to capture the video that you need to upload. With each unit, there is an assessor checklist or a student sign-off form. All you have to do is put your name at the top of the form, then head to the bottom of the form, and in the brackets, just after the words I have observed, just put your name again. Once you've done that, all you have to do is go to each subject, and in the S column, place an X next to each subject that you've completed, then upload your document. You have 12 months to finish the course. Can I suggest you get into the habit of spending half an hour to an hour on the course each day? If you do this, you will get through a unit, should be easily in a fortnight, and have the course knocked over in about six months. I think that's about it. I hope you enjoy the course, and if you have any problems along the way, just remember to message your assessor for assistance. We are also adding um, short, new short courses to our platform all the time. These are there to help you in your career. So just jump onto the Picker website to have a look at what short course may help you into the future. Have fun with the course.